Hey guys, if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for links to some great online retailers. There's also individual links for knives that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. I kind of know what's in here. This box was sent to me by LaVon of the Knife Nuts Podcast, who sent me some interesting items, as well as a couple of knives that he is reviewing, uh, or that he was looking at, um, uh, from a uh, designer that uh, we're all aware of here. Anyways, I'll get into the box. But thank you, LaVon, for uh, sending this stuff to me. Also, thank you to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. If you guys are enjoying the Daily Knife content on this channel and you'd like to support me, uh, you can find my link for Patreon right down in the description. You get your hands on some cool stickers and other benefits. And please follow me on Instagram at Metal underscore Complex. All right, let's go ahead and get the outer part of this box opened up with the plastic surrounding the box, right? And then we'll get into the box. Sorry. Alrighty, and can I just, does it just open, a, sorry, I don't want to get, I don't want to give any information away, oh no, there's nothing, okay, he doesn't, it's, it's all on the outside of the package, um, there we go, and let's flip it over here and see what we've got, alright, a whole bunch of stuff, hey, yes, I finally, finally have Knife Nuts podcast stuff, <laughs> finally, these are awesome, Oh, thank you. So cool. Check this out. Darn it. If you guys don't listen to the Knife Nuts podcast, I seriously, <laughs> I have found so much energy. I used to be on the road a lot for work, and I told him this. Um, and by the way, the other knives that are in here are Arcane Design, so I'm going to let you guys take a look here um, and check out, you know, website as well as Instagram, and then there's this email address. But, um, yeah. Uh, I used to be on the road a lot, and uh, this that was the Knife Nuts podcast was one of the only things that kept me sane. So let's see here. We have what looks like a standard hinderer box. I think there's some. There's actually four things here. So we're gonna get all of this stuff out so that we can do this all at the same time. All right, there we go. Let's open up this pouch first. Oh boy, holy moly. Oh my gosh, this is way bigger than I <laughs> This is the uh, Leong Ma, oh my god, I'm so dumb. It'll all be, everything will be in the title, and if I can link it, it'll be down in the, in the description. But I've seen this floating around on, um, on uh, uh, Instagram forever, and I never really got a size perspective. Is there a smaller version of this? This thing is, wow, it's so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. That's what she said. Ugh. You guys are hilarious. <laughs> who am I talking to? I'm talking to myself. So it's me who made that joke. Anyways, god dang. So I'm a big fan of uh, forward choils, right? Or if you can call it that here. This is just a very well-placed choke-up position for your finger, right? Uh, this is the second time handling a Leong Ma design. I've got another one right off to my right here. And uh, so far, very impressed. Uh, love the access hole, right? Bring your, bring the jokes, right? They're, I can't stop them now. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the blade slot here where you do the, you know, you can deploy it and reverse flick it, spider flick it, whatever you want to do, right? Very cool. Transition between the bolster and this, is it marble or shred? Really nice carbon fiber in any case, right? We'll go over these. This isn't a comprehensive review. It's just first impressions and unboxing. So a couple of weeks for each of these. And you guys will be able to check out the full review. Oh, God. All right. Hang on. Hang on. Let's just, let's make some space. Oh, look at the pivot. Oh, boy. That is beautiful. Oh, this is uh, this is um, uh, something else here, guys. Um, this is a skiff, and I I'm going to, I mean, obviously, you know, this is the first time I've ever handled it. I'm not familiar with this at all, but, you know, my, <laughs> as, par as far as like my, you know, built-in knife senses now, you know, that have been fortified over, you know, however many hundreds of knives in the last 10 years, right? Um, tell me that this is, you know, <laughs> something special and it is made incredibly well. We have a, uh, that looks like a hand rub satin finish here on the blade. Uh, you can see those 
horizontal lines. Nice behind the edge. That pivot is just beautiful. The anodizing and the polishing work right there. Amazing. We have this uh, 3D milled textured titanium up here. This is really nice. It's interesting how they have this seam here, right? Same here. They're all, I mean, it's actually different, you know, angles, I guess, different. Well, actually, no, this is all flat. And these lines just meet up here. This right here is beveled, right? And then it's rounded back here. Look at that polished titanium backspacer. Texturing continues over to the pocket clip. The flipper tab is perfectly shaped. In, you know, as far as like engagement, there's, in my opinion, there's one place to rest your finger and that one place allows it to deploy readily. Very, very smooth. You can see skiff right there. Beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Nice size too. And there is a nice little area to choke up behind the blade. It'll be really fun to kind of explore that one a little bit more, learn about it. Obviously, there's a lot of information I need there before I start discussing it. And then we have... Oh, yes. I've been attracted to these since I first saw them. So, a long time ago, you guys probably remember that... Oh, are there three? <laughs> you guys probably remember I did a uh, sort of an overview on a prototype from um, Arcane Designs. Uh, the prototype at the time was the Necronaut. This is a new design from Arcane Designs called the uh, Antimatter. Cool. <laughs> I like uh, I like symmetry, right? I like crazy stuff. I like uh, the folding dagger look as well. Oh no, this is not just a look. It's actually sharp on both sides. <laughs> I didn't know that. Wait a minute. Hold on, are all of these like that? Oh my gosh. I thought it was a false edge. They're literally sharp on both sides. So, um, you know, most of the time when you see designs like this, the edge is not sharp. It's a false edge on one side and that's, you know, so that you can close it by pushing on the blade. With these guys, you're, you need to be able to use, it looks like right here, the, the idea is to use the flipper tab to close it, which, kind of works that's interesting am i missing something is there a better way to approach that hmm. well you certainly can just shake it shut as far as i understand these are being made by riot I could be wrong about that um i think uh pre-orders are available for these guys so i'm going to link that down in the description so if you're interested in these um in different there's obviously a lot of different forms right yeah you actually can use that flipper tab to wheel it all the way down Right, you just kind of follow it right there, and it'll close. So there is a safe way to do that. Man, that is cool. All the way around, this is just cool. That big, wide dagger crown blade, that nice fuller running through the center, right, where the flat is, beautiful. Here's one in all black, right? I'm sure there's gonna be people interested in an all black version of them. There's that distinct uh angular aesthetic that we got with the necronaut right that big aggressive tanto except this is being translated into a folding dagger which is interesting we don't have a lot of those designs out there and when we do see them like i said they're generally false edge designs rick kinder did the the um uh the maximus a couple of years back um, where you, there is an option to have a, um, you know, a fully dagger ground blade. And then of course they have the bayonet grind, right? So that's interesting. I've, I've really wanted to get my hands on these just to take a look at them. Um, pretty cool. I'll make sure and link the pre-order for these guys. Cause I know that that's coming up. Um, but yeah, we've got a lot of really, really cool stuff here. I'm really excited, um, to, uh, take a look at these and also just enjoy them while they're here. So anyways, check out. Uh, Arcane Designs, once again, show this here real quick so you guys can get this information or you can find the links down in the description. And make sure you guys check out the Knife Nuts podcast. Um, seriously, there's so much, so much entertainment to be found there. I actually have the coin too. I had another um, viewer send me the, the coin a while back, so I've got that. But anyways, guys, check out Knife Nuts podcast. Thanks so much, LaVon. Um, I think that's going to be pretty much it today, guys. Where's my little card? Where's my little Instagram thing? There it is. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please 
leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all of my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.